Guitars and Linux time. And uh, today I am looking at the New X Mighty 20 BT. This is my uh, general all purpose amplifier and it's also a modeling amplifier. One thing that influenced my purchase decision is that it can be controlled uh, by your uh, cell phone that is uh, running Android slash Linux. So, and it has a nice little intuitive amp that allows you to get some effects uh, that you wouldn't normally be able to get with the uh, controls on this amplifier. Now, obviously, I don't have the camera set up to show you the top of the amplifier and that sort of thing. But if you, uh, but the thing is, I'll have a link in the description below where you can uh, get some more information on this amp. If this is something that you would like to add to your uh, musical arsenal. Now, you may notice that the guitar I've been playing is actually in the background screen. That is because I uh, originally wanted to do my first unboxing video ever, but uh, UPS uh, delivered my new instrument uh, to the neighbors, and they opened the box for me. Convenient, isn't it? Mm, gotta love it when that happens. But this is the uh, Jackson JS32 Dinky. This has uh, the... Um, the uh, Jackson uh, stock pickups, and I gotta tell you, these pickups sound amazing. They sound better than the Alnico 5 set that I put in this guitar. And uh, when I uh, opened the back of the guitar to put a trem block in here for the uh, whammy bar, I noticed uh, that the tremolo system is identical to the Floyd Rose setup that I put on this guitar. It's just that it is branded for Jackson, but it is manufactured by Floyd Rose, and this is an actual, genuine Floyd Rose special on the guitar. I also like the bigger uh, jumbo frets on this and the, the uh, fretboard design. This is a real treat to play. Moreover, when the uh, guitar did arrive and I pulled it out of the box, everything was set up. And, uh, yeah, absolutely awesome. All I had to do was just tune it up, and it was ready to rock. So, awesome instrument here. So, sorry I didn't get to do an unboxing video, but this is the uh, uh, JS32 Dinky from Jackson. These guitars are made for metal. <laughs> well, just about any kind of musical style, actually. But, um, yeah, this thing really rocks. I love it. Okay, so back to the Mighty 20 BT review. Um, you can see here, and let me uh, get my uh, eyeballs back on so I can see what I'm doing because, well, midlife crisis has set in and I'm losing my vision. You know how that goes. All right, and uh, let me give you a brief rundown of what you're getting here uh, on the modeling amplifier. Okay, you have an option to... Uh, before we get into uh, all the channels and all the effects, I figured I'd show you uh, some of the things that you have here. You have your uh, Bluetooth settings for this, uh, so you can stream music through the amplifier if you want to and jam along with it through the Bluetooth interface. This also has some jam tracks that you can uh, play. They're pretty short, though, um, so yeah, uh, let me pause that. All right, you also have a drum machine, so if you want to be able to jam out with a drummer. You have that. Personally, I think my uh, Valentin pedal that I have here um, really blows this thing away. But for what it is and for, for, the, for the economical price point that you have on this particular amplifier, it is amazing for what it does. And this is great if any of you guys are a beginner and you want a good amplifier that's going to give you a variety of sound effects to use with your guitar. This is the one to get. You can also, uh, by the way, I wanted to mention there's there are several several little patterns that you can have with this. So you you've got you've got every rock style or every uh, uh every, just about every musical style you can think of covered in here with the inclusion of a metronome. 
All right, and then now to the meat and potatoes. We've already heard in the beginning of the video the very first clean channel, but there is a second one here. Um, but first, we've got several different things we can look at. First, we've got a noise gate here. Noise gate is essential uh, for uh, reducing a pickup hum and background noise that you may have uh, in your instrument. And so you can set that here. All right, and then in the amplifier section, all the standard things that you would have on any uh, on a, a regular amplifier. And what's nice about this is, it, regardless of what you have the knobs set on the uh, top of the amplifier, it'll honor whatever settings that you have uh, set up in your device here. Okay, so uh, I know I could use the uh, mouse here. I'm using SCRCPY to uh, display my uh, uh, Android screen here. Uh, and I could, you know, meddle with them here if I wanted to, but it's just as easy for me to do it from here. So you're not seeing me uh, move the cursor and that sort of thing. Oops, let me uh, back up here. And so I'm just, you know, doing the touchscreen thing because that seems to work out. So uh, standard gain level, base, mid, and high. You also have uh, some modulation choices. So, uh, for instance, this is a chorus effect, which makes a guitar sound like a 12-string. Okay, but you have other options, such as uh, a phaser. And you also have a treblo. I'm going to go back to the chorus because, well, I like the chorus sound the best. Okay, next we have the delay, and that's what you're hearing, that, that's what's causing that little echo effect. I can turn that off. here you can choose whether you want I'm using the digital delay right now but you could choose an an analog delay or modulation uh, between all these three I've, I thought the digital one sounded the best but I haven't had really a whole lot of time to experiment with this because once I got the valatin you know you know playing with the effects on the uh, mighty 20 BT became secondary so uh, yeah all right, and then of course we have a delay, and, I mean reverb, and you could choose a, a hall, plate, or a spring reverb. Now, I don't know if any of you guys uh, remembered, uh, remembered the amplifiers uh, from back in the uh, 70s and the 80s, but literally if you wanted to have an amplifier, inside the amplifier was a spring, so if you accidentally, somebody accidentally kicked <laughs> your amplifier you could hear the spring shaking and everything and that's what caused the effect but it did a beautiful job of doing reverb so so you could have the spring reverb sound if you wanted that and it does sound beautiful um and then there's plate And then I'll go back to the hall one. Okay, good, good stuff. All right, so now that you got an idea of uh, what you have here, you can set these things. Uh, let's look at some of the other channels. Now, uh, these are all on default sound settings. Uh, so this is what the clean channel sounds like by default. Uh, the second clean channel, this one has a little bit more punch to it, as you'll hear. You could hear the difference there, see? And this one's got a little bit more, a little, just a little, just a hair bit of distortion in it. Let's go on to overdrive here. And that, of course, has just a little bit more grind. Great for doing blues or rock. Uh, 
Overdrive 2 has a little bit more. And then, of course, everybody came here for the metal sound. Personally, uh, I think I need a little bit more punch, but you could, you could alter these sounds to, you know, uh, maybe uh, get a little bit more out of it. Maybe I might try and give it some more uh, a level and gain. <laughs> back some of these off because it's getting a little bit loud and I don't want to uh, blast mom out of the building here. <laughs> for the beginner who wants to be able to have a little bit of everything. All right, let's go into uh, Metal 2 and see what that sounds like by default. <laughs> mm, kind of okay, but like I said, my stomp pedal I think does a better job but hey uh, for for the price point here this amplifier is pretty awesome I think I paid a um, if I'm not mistaken I think I paid 150 bucks for it so I mean you're getting all of this at that price point this is awesome stuff indeed okay now let's go ahead and go into the lead effect and see what we get here <laughs> Almost sounds like something Eddie Van Halen would have had back in the uh, back in the eighties, huh? <laughs> sounds kind of cool. Let's uh, go with the other lead option here. I think I could live with that. So there you have it. This is a neat little uh, unit uh, to have. And uh, what's nice is, you know, you, you set the dials how you want them and then you just press the save button and it'll save it. Uh, but if you don't save and you go back, you're going to see here that it'll revert to the original settings that I had before because I didn't press the save button when switching channels. So you'll see this is what I had originally. <laughs> Pretty neat, I think. So, uh, good stuff indeed. So, the New X Mighty 20 BT, nice little modeling amplifier, perfect for the beginner. 
And I think it's actually loud enough that you can jam out with a drummer. So that's also a good thing too. So if you're a novice guitarist and you want to, uh, this would be the this would be a nice little setup. Although uh, a guitar like this having the Floyd Rose tremolo, not so much for a beginner because uh, there is a little bit of a learning curve learning how to set one of these things up because they usually float, meaning you can lift the whammy bar up and down, and uh, that can cause issues for people who do not know how to set the system up. Uh, and personally, I don't really care for, you know, I, I, I'm a sucker for leaving my hand on the bridge when I'm playing a lot, and that's a big no-no. So I actually blocked mine so that I can still be able to do that. But even then, I don't use a whammy bar that much. But I've always loved having the tuners right here. So I can easily tune the guitar and that sort of thing. So I've got it set up for my personal preferences. And in my way, I don't like having the tremolo floating. But that's that's a me thing. And, you know, everybody has their own preferences and that sort of thing. Well, I think that's all I have for today's show. And um, on my next episode, uh, maybe I'll cover uh, some Linux software that you can use uh, for reading guitar music and a few other little bits and bobs that I have uh, up my sleeve. So uh, I'll uh, think on that. And then uh, and then in a future episode, I'll uh, also uh, cover the Valentin uh, GP100 uh, in uh, greater detail, and I'll even uh, demonstrate some of the patches that I purchased for this. I, I purchased some additional patches for this to get some really wicked sounds out of this unit, without having to, without having to go through the trouble of uh, setting up all that stuff myself. Um, Okay, yep, I think I covered everything that I wanted to. So with all that out of the way, uh, just a quick little reminder that a little bit of love goes a very long way. So please be sure to take some of your time today and be excellent with somebody. Until next time, my friends, peace out. Mm -hmm.